recently created a large paint by color image of the school where I teach so that my students would have a chance to paint on it during field day. So after I was done creating this large scale image, instead of making it a paint by number, I made it a paint by color by adding little dabs of color where I wanted the students to paint it. How did I create this thing? I'm gonna share it with you. First of all, I started by snapping a photo of my school. Let's see if we can speed this video up. Get to the photo already. Oh yes, here we go. And I took a photo of the school and I put it in Procreate using my iPad. And after I took that image and dropped in the photo, I just started outlining my school. Yes, at one point I actually did try to draw the school just sitting in front of it. And I thought, what am I doing? This is not an art project for moi. I'm just going to take the photo and trace it. And that's exactly what I did. When I was finished tracing all of the details, the sky and all of that, I decided I needed to, you know, fudge with the composition a little bit. Most schools are kind of blah on the outside, no offense schools, but you are. So I decided that I wanted to move the American flag, move our flagpole so that it was more in our picture instead of being off to the side. I also wanted to add our state flag, which is the beautiful Tennessee state flag right there. And then I still felt like the composition needed a little bit more. So I threw in our state flower, which is the iris. Again, these are just images that either photos I took or pulled from the internet put them on my Procreate and trace them. Once that was complete and I had a drawing that I thought, yeah, that looks pretty good. I decided to go ahead and project it onto a canvas. I have or had a canvas that's about five by four and I used a projector to project the image onto that canvas. I did spend a little bit of time trying to work out what colors I wanted to use, but I got kind of bored with this. So then I jumped right into drawing the image on the canvas. So to do that, like I said, I projected it and then I discovered something interesting that I think you might like. So, you know, I'm all about that bingo dauber life, right? And I love using the bingo dauber. Well, it would have created a too big of a line for this. So I used a Q-tip dipped in India ink to create the line drawings. It actually works like a miniature bingo dauber. That little Q-tip can actually hold quite a bit of ink. You don't have to dip often and it creates a really nice line. So on field day, my students had the opportunity to paint on the canvas or work on those large scale banners. And we usually did about five to 10 kids coming over to the table at a time, painting for just a few minutes to make sure that the majority of kids got a chance. And now what I'll be doing when um, it's all finished is I will be going back and re-outlining and maybe even adding a little bit more color to those areas where it's still a little bit transparent. Anyway, that's how I went about making our large scale paint by number of our school. I'll be sure to share the final masterpiece with you. Thanks guys.